everybody? It's Omar. It is November 7th, 7, 7.30 p.m. And I wanted to talk about my play today on this DRL. Um, um, if you uh, follow me on Twitter, I actually gave you the play. Um, let me go to me. And let's see. Okay, so here, this was eight hours ago. And I said SDRL clear buy signal stock had breakout at 35 cents, gapped up, pulled back to 35, and held cleared support. We'll test 49 cent. We'll see. Okay, and then um, I, I wrote five, like three hours after the fact because it, it gapped up just like I said it would. And how did I know that? Well, this morning I saw that SDRO um, pre market was starting to move. So this is the pre market. Let me let me remove all this so you could just see everything so <clears throat> so gas so this is, an, this is an oil company and um oil oil is is up and uh if you go to finviz.com um right now i think it crude oil is down but it was up this morning and it's been on an upward trend so you know sdro is uh is one of these oil mining companies and this is the pre-market, right? So it's a super important to document the high and low pre-market. So right here, if you notice, this was the, the high pre-market, about 35 cents, all right? And, um, and so, so what I always do is um, when, I, when I look at a stock that I may potentially want to trade, I always put trend lines, right? So here's the top. Oops, uh, let me set this up. Sorry about that, guys. So this is the top. Pre-market high, All right? Pre-market, and then this is the low when the market opens, right? So let me zoom out here. <clears throat> so what happens? The stock, right? The market opens, right? And the stock kind of pulls out, right? Pulls back, and it finds its low, right? 31 cents. And then it's just slowly, let me zoom in, starts gapping up, right? And you see it kind of touches that 34 cent, breaks above it, kind of pulls back, breaks above it, pulls back, right? But it, it doesn't get that volume thrust. And then boom, right here, it breaks the, this, you can consider this the gap and go where it breaks above the pre-market high and you take a, you know, long on it, you're risking the, the pre-market high um, as your entry and your stop. And so what happens is when a stock gaps up, right? What you want to see is, and I and it was funny because I was talking to a friend of mine, and um, I had told him, look, the stock gapped up, but we don't want to chase, all right? So what you want to do is when the stock like this happens, because you don't know what's going to happen, right? You don't know what the stock is going to do. So you could chase it, but what if you, what mostly ha most times happens is that people chase, and then they buy somewhere in here, and then the stock pulls back, and then they're like, shit, you know? So... What you want to do is when a stock breaks out, right? And this stock, I'm going to use this over here. I'm going to put the 10 day, 30 minute chart. All right, this is a stock. Well, this is now, but this stock has been in the 20 cents area uh, for a while. And if I look at the one year chart, the last three days, so this started gapping up. All right, so this is today. This was yesterday and this was the day before. So it's starting getting volume. You see how the volume starting to come in? More volume each day. So 4 million shares, 8 million shares, 36 million shares, right? Now, if you look at what you want to do is, you know, hist you know, stocks have a history of repeating itself. So I I had I had a sense that this was going to move because if you look at the yearly chart, it's, it's done this in the past where, you know, it'll have like, see, this was back in September 18th. It, you know, it had three days. And on the first day, it had, you know, 18 million shares. And then the second day, it had 30, this was uh, September um, 19th, it had 25, 39 million shares traded. And then on that third day, um, September 20th, it, it had um, 99 million shares traded. And this thing opened up at 35 cents and it a high as 62 cents. Well, if we look at the stock right now, it hit 60 and it pulled back. All right. So, so, you know, this stock, is it going to rip tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, maybe, you know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take an entry on this unless it broke 62 cents. That's why it's so important to know where support and resistance is. Now, 
Um, if it breaks 62 cents, then, you know, I take an entry on it, but you got to make sure to look at the next resistance point, which would be the high here, 67 cents. You know, and then you got a lot of resistance all the way up, so you got to be careful. But if there's enough volume, this thing could run tomorrow if oil is still in play. We'll see what the market says tomorrow. But getting back to how I knew to do this, right? So when a stock breaks out, what you want to see it do is you want to see it test the, the resistance point. So now what happens is, right? This was resistance because this was the pre-market high, right? It broke it. So you see it gap up. It got to a high of almost 40 cents, 38 cents. And then it pulls back, right? Look what happens. It pulls back. Now, right, resistance becomes support. It doesn't get back to exactly the pre-market high, but it, it finds its new higher low right here. And that is telling you now that, okay, you have a new support level so it's a great time to buy so people saw this like me okay and i got in because i said okay you know it's it's holding this it's not gonna break below the pre-market high because had it gotten back down to here i'm i'm probably not buying it but because i saw it hold the breakout level and that becomes the new support level that's a great time to buy and that's what a lot of dip buy guys who um go long on stocks do they don't they let the stock break out into the new high they wait for the pullback to the breakout level to see if that's gonna hold if it holds then they buy and that's how a lot of people who buy stocks do that they wait until that pullback to see if now you have a new clear support level so I just got in I got in right here and I wrote it all the way up you know right into here I actually um, um, I watched it go up and I sold Right when it topped here at 45 and I started sort of pulling back, forming the head and shoulders pattern, right in here, 43 cents I sold. You know, so, um, you know, I could have held and I should have held. Look at this. This thing went all the way up to 60 cents. Now, tomorrow, will it go up? I don't know. You know, I, I can't tell you that. But what I would look to see is if it's going to break that 62 cent level. So if it breaks, you see... And this is the this is the high here, 62 cents. If it breaks this level tomorrow, if it breaks this, uh, oops. if it breaks this 62 cent level right here, then I would probably take a buy on it. But you know the thing is, you got to be careful because it can get it can re get rejected here at the 69. Now if it if it breaks the 69, I mean you have all these other resistance areas, but these are strong resistance areas. And you know, this thing can move. I mean, if for whatever reason, if this thing broke 90 cents, and I'm not saying that's gonna happen, and I doubt it will. But let's say if it starts ripping and it got past 90 cents, oh, you definitely take this for a buy. There's, there's nothing stopping this from getting to 150. Now, do I think that's gonna happen tomorrow? No, I think that, you know, if it, I think it's gonna get rejected at see the 62 or 69 and short sellers are gonna, buy, you know, drive this down. I can't. I can't short this. This is a hard to borrow stock, and with Think or Swim, you need a you need you need a minimum of a hundred thousand in an account. And I never keep a hundred thousand in an account. Even even if I have it, I won't put leave it in there because that's just too much to trade with, and that's too much risk. I don't want to go crazy um, with size. So so that that's that's how I knew to buy it, guys. It's very simple. So remember, when you see stocks breaking out to new highs, like like AMD today was another stock that. Um, ran today um, and this is the pre-market right so let's let's look at let's look at that so this was the pre-market high here about 1207 right market opens and then you know it started selling off pre-market so it got up there and then it kind of washed pre-market and then you know you got a rip so you know you got the rip and it broke above you know you could have did a gap and go here but you know, you if you if you didn't have your stop set, you know you could have just it would have washed in you, and um, you know you could have lost. So you gotta be quick. You gotta be careful. You can't always trust the gap and go. That it's always gonna work, you know. So it broke the pre market high. So if I saw this, let's say I had I missed this entry, I would be looking to see if it was gonna hold this because it didn't hold this. I wouldn't trade it. I would say I'm only gonna get in this stock if it gets. If it if it if it gets a back above that pre market high, and you know it kind of consolidated, gapped up, and then it broke the twelve oh seven, which was the pre market high, and then it kind of gaps up to that twelve twenty seven mark, and this was the high day at this point. So this is another opportunity. So you gotta look to see 
what it's going to do when it gaps up all the way up to 1227 and it pulls back and look where it kind of finds its new support level here guys at around that 1207 it broke below it for a second here at 1206 but you know this kind of held you see how it gaps up it got up to 1216 so right here right in here i would have i would have bought a dip like if i was watching this and i saw that this was the pre-market high and it kind of holds this area and i see the reversal I'm, i would buy the dip you know and you see now it's in this channel and you know in and, and then after hours it kind of pulled back now i don't know what what amd is going to do tomorrow but you know the, the the best the best entries are when you get a clear so when you see a clear support level all right so um i hope you found this helpful and how you know so you one stock where the support holds and another stock where it kind of doesn't um so um if you have any questions like um subscribe and uh you know i'm on youtube and uh, Inst uh i'm sorry youtube and twitter watch all trade all right guys have a great evening